NRL punters, we're here to help. It's gonna be a spicy weekend for us. We've only got two NRL games this weekend. Unfortunately, with those two NRL games, that means we've got heaps of people concentrating the same crap tips on the same games. We're gonna decide if those tips are real or ridiculous. I'm Chris Danks, you, my friend, are Liam O'Loughlin. We're doing the real or ridiculous, presented by Dabble. <laughs> Storm Roosters, Friday night, uh, 7.50 p.m. It's a late one. Um, do Who do you like? Straight off the top. I'm leaning towards the Storm. My, my head says Storm, heart says Roosters. I, I would like to see the Roosters continue for another week, but yeah. I, I do think the Storm are going to be a little bit too strong just with the backline troubles the, the Chookies have got. Joey Manu out, Billy Smith out, Joseph Swally out. Uh, Dan Tupo's still out. Rory Hargraves? Rory Hargraves is still out. They're going to be Watts, pulling people Connor from... Watson's still out. Satili Tupanu is still out. They've got a, a big injury list, so, so not ideal. What I've been hearing a lot of, obviously, of most of my mates, uh, Sharks fans, so they've been using a lot of info from last week when the Roosters somehow beat the Sharks 13-12. However, Roosters looks pretty, pretty weak on the wings. You had both uh, Katoa and Ronnie score. Ronnie should have scored two to three times at least. So, I have a bet for you. Talk me through it. Now, Roosters, ten and a half start. Unfortunately, this is a convoluted one. Roosters, ten and a half start. Warbrick and Remus Smith both score. $4.50. Nah, don't like it. I don't like it. Why not? Which part don't you like? Uh, I don't think both wingers will score. That's, okay. That's where I'm probably leaning against that one just because what I saw from the Storm last week from an attacking perspective was mm -hmm. was a lot less than crisp. It was it was really poor. Um, obviously, they've changed a couple of things in their back line as well, so the combinations probably aren't going to be quite there. I know Remus Smith and Justin Olin coming back in are you know, probably on paper better than what they had last week, um, but they've been out of the side because of form, not because of injury. Um, so, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go against that one. Interesting. All right, moving on to one which is a sporting news special. Paul Momorowski, the September specialist. He's back. Try, try score tries when he wants. He does. Uh, one PM's 13 game, one try. I think that's probably all the stats we need. <laughs> um, he's played for the Panthers, played for the Storms, played for the Tigers, played for the Roosters. He's played for... Three out of four ain't bad. Yeah, <laughs> not too bad. Uh, Paul Momorowski in the centres, any time, $4.80. Surely that's real. That's, that's real. Hundred percent real. That's that's great value. That'll, that's really good value. That has to go down soon. You would think so, especially is he going to be up against Justin Olin? I think he'll be against Olin. Yeah. Who I know on his day he can whack folks, but mm. his defence this year, as you said, he hasn't been because of form. Not yeah, of he, he had been dropped by Craig Bellamy. Um, so yeah, I, I don't mind that. Oof, I really like that. That gets um, me spicy. Yeah, Oof. center at four dollars yeah. eighty. Any time try scorer. That's juicy stuff. Uh, I'm liking Momers for at least one pie. Could I push the friendship for a double at 23 Australian dollar dues? That's, that's surely worth like a few dollars. You'd chuck $23 on, you? for a double yeah. for a centre to score. Like in a team that's you know, got two pretty classy halves and a pretty strong forward pack on paper. I like it. I do like it. I'm going to say that's real. Okay. Real nice. Uh, and finally, all right, so the Roosters have a lot of people out. Storm have Coates out, uh, Young Tom Appears out, Paps obviously out. They're not maybe as cooked as the Roosters, but I mean, they're not far off it. Roosters, 12 and a half start, $1.82. Yeah, I like it. Yeah? I do like it, yeah. I don't think this will be a blowout by any means. I think, even though I am probably leaning towards the Storm getting the job done, based on what I saw from them in both attack and defence last week, I don't know. I think it'll be a reasonably close game. So I think 12 and a half start for the Roosters is more than fair. I'm going to stick it's with Real as well. Storm have won seven of the last eight against the Roosters both this year. But we just found out Storm have lost their past three finals matches. Mm, yeah, because they lost that game to the Raiders last year, which was obviously a, a bit of an upset week, one of the finals. And the year before, they would have lost the prelim to Penrith, I believe. So, yeah. Yeah. All right. Be interesting. Close one and check back in next week when we're swimming in rivers of gold, thanks to Paul Moborowski. <laughs> uh, the Warriors and Knights, definitely the B-side for this weekend. Mm. Hurtful maybe, but 
I think it's a fair drop off. Uh, Saturday, 4.05 p.m. Very different time, but helps our Warriors friends out. Would you like some useless facts? Sure, go for it. Newcastle Knights have lost eight of their last 10 NRL finals matches away from home. Okay, that's good. Including stuff. each of their last three. Okay. Can you tell me when was the last time they played a finals match? A finals match? Yeah. Last weekend? <laughs> Season before. Uh, ooh, 2013? Yeah. I think so. I oh, know. no, they, won in, they played in like 2020. 20, 2020? Yeah, 2020 or 2021, I think, yeah. They made their, I think they made the finals the first season under Adam O'Brien, whatever year that was. Well, they've lost eight of their last ten. Yes, that's not great, is it? Useless fact number two, the Warriors have won two of their three NRL finals matches in New Zealand. Okay. Unfortunately, the most recent fixture was 2008. Okay. So, I don't know if that's much of a form guide for you. Does that change anything in your heart about who's going to win this? No, not really. Okay. Who do you think will win? I do think the Warriors will win. Um, I think I said it on the Fair Income Department. Earlier this week, um, Jackson Hastings is a big out Massive. for Newcastle. I know he did get injured in the first half of the game on, um, on Sunday against the Raiders and they did manage to, to come away with the victory. But I think, I think he's going to be a big loss and especially with the Warriors looking like they're going to have Sean Johnson back. Mm. Um, I think that's probably going to be the difference between the two sides. No confidence in if we can steal some rugby league parlance. Uh, Adam Clune to do a job. He will do a job. He did a job when Jackson Hastings was out um, the last few rounds of the regular good. season. So um, I think he'll be serviceable enough. I don't think it'll be similar to the Roosters-Melbourne game. I don't see a blowout, but I do think the Warriors um, have, have probably got enough points in them and their, de- their defence this year has been pretty strong. So most of what I've been hearing is pretty much just still all up the wires, hype train, which I'm about. I'm so much about. Um, and obviously, as we spoke before, Sean Johnson coming in changes everything. How does this bet sound to you? Warriors by 11 to 20. Real. Very specific, but also... It's a specific margin, but I'm going to say real. I would say... A, four bucks. Yeah, I don't mind that. Six, 16 to 18 point range, you know, a couple of converted tries and a penalty goal, something like that. In, in that vicinity, I think, is, is what we might be looking at. Because original... Everyone thinks it's probably going to be a little bit of a, a blowout, but... I'm concerned about the over-under, especially with the Warriors' defence, and I mean that positively in that their defence has been pretty mad. Yeah. Um, although yeah, aside, I, I know, I know like, against the Panthers, week, yeah. but... What, well, they the were... Panthers. <laughs> it's the Panthers. What are you going to do? The Pars. Um, and now this is just going to be all wingers. So I just want to prove that there is a little bit of science behind our madness. Uh, Dallin Wateni, uh, the Lesniak, scored eight tries in his past six games at Mount Smart slash Go Media Stadium. And Night Swingers, Dom Young, Greg Mazu, 46 tries. Uh, DWZ and Marcelo Montoya, 30 tries. Now that you have all that information, Knights, four and a half start. Mazu and Young to score, $4.50. Ridiculous. Really? No, I yeah. thought that was the safe one. No. Nah. Uh, both wingers to score... Uh, against Montoya and DWZ. And I, I've, I've just said that I think Warriors will win by 11 to 20. So I think they're going to be a little bit too strong. Four and a half is a little bit low for, for my liking for the Knights with the start. So I'm going to say ridiculous for that one. Okay. Crap, that was my good one. <laughs> Fine. Uh, Warriors 11 20, $4. Great, we already know that. Uh, finally, Knights wingers to continue what the Panthers started. See, uh, there was three tries on the wing with the Panthers last weekend. Young to score two plus. Five dollars. Mm. They can still lose and score two. Yeah. Or Mazu to score two plus. Five dollars. No. Nah. Oh. No, nah, I don't like it. Again, you just don't think they're going to score enough? No, nah, I don't think so. I, I, I don't think this is going to be... I can't see this being a real high-scoring game. I've got to be honest. Right. I'm thinking, you know... Warriors by a couple of tries, but I don't think it's going to be like 36 to 22. I think yeah. it'll probably be more like a 24 to 12, 24 to 10 kind of scenario. Nah, bring back the NYC scores. <laughs> 52 to 44. I think that's way So I'm going it. ridiculous with that one. Okay. I think that's quite ridiculous, but I do like SJ changes everything. Warriors 11 to 20 for Australian dollars. Very so nice. we're holding on for SJ. We're holding on for Paul. 
Momorowski. Check back in next week, see how we go. What's gambling really costing you? For free and confidential support, call the number on the screen or visit the website.